As many of you know, Realogic has recently tweeted out that the Journeys and update is in review and very soon to be released for all new gen consoles. But what does this all entail? It has been quite a while since I've actually went over the update notes and read over what will come in the new Journeys and update for consoles. So in today's video, we're going to be refreshing our minds with what the Journey Mode update actually brought to Terraria and what you, console players, can expect to receive once the update is fully released. So let's go over all the major features first. The major additions will consist of a new game mode called Journey Mode, a master mode to the game, two new bosses, which are going to be the Queen Slime and the Empress of Light, a bestiary, which is an encyclopedia for enemies, allies, and critters you encounter in Journey Mode, a new golf mini game, a windy day weather event with some special enemies for that, a hidden luck system, and finally added town pylons and NPC happiness. Another thing that we PC players received in the Journey's End update was texture pack support, but I have no idea how that is going to work on consoles. So tell me what you guys think. Are we going to have texture packs in the console version of Terraria? Console players are also going to receive block swap, which is a mechanic that allows the player to replace pre-existing blocks with new ones without having to mine them up. There is going to be new boss health bars, emote commands, and a menu for that, various different loading screen texts, mini map border options, and a new achievement to craft the workbench. You can also expect to receive a brand new graveyard biome which is one that appears when five or more tombstones are in close proximity of the player and some other small differences will include an uncommon thunderstorm ambient weather meteor showers falling star animations from the sky and the ability for the player to actually blink when it comes to world gen the journey's end update introduced many new mechanics the first thing we have is a cluster of different biome backgrounds changes to the underground desert that provides it with new structures and loot there will be new paint Paintings, an oasis mini biome, oasis ferns, cattails, lily pads, and overall you can expect to see many different changes coming to the biomes. There's a huge list of changes. I'll let you read everything in the description down below for the biome, so be sure to check that out. Within the Journey's End update, there will also be an entire catalog of new music. You will get a brand new title theme, a windy day theme, graveyard theme, new Duke Fisher on boss theme, Empress of Light theme, Queen Slime theme, and many different more tracks. This update will also come with many different new enemies and critters, for example, the Blood Eel and the Dread Nautilus mini boss, several Blood Moon fishing enemies, Windy Day enemies, gnomes, wild friendly fairies as well as fairy logs, fairy jars, several underworld critters, goldfish and other gold critters, and crystal slimes. Console players will also be receiving a new golfer NPC and a zoologist NPC, as well as the previously mentioned NPC happiness and pylons which you can use to teleport around the world. One of the most interesting parts of an update is all the brand new items it comes with. And I'm happy to tell you that when this update drops on the console version, you guys will be receiving the legendary Zenith, which is going to be a sword with the largest crafting recipe in Terraria. The Celebration Mark II is also coming into the game, which is personally one of my favorite weapons. And you can expect to see many other cool weapons, such as a Super Star Shooter, a whole set of different whips in the game, and the Zappinator. You'll get new accessories, such as the Step Stool and the Fledgling Wings, different mining gear, such as the Lunar Drills, and many, many different new items. Gameplay changes that you can expect to see in this update are expert mode enemies holding on to your coins when they kill you. If you hit trees with an axe, they have a chance of dropping items. Reaching the end of the pumpkin moon and frost moon will unlock one in-game day of the Halloween and Christmas season. Doors automatically opening for you when approached. The moon lord now dropping super healing potions instead of greater healing potions. Acorns being able to auto swing. Reduced volume on the vortex beater, sniper rifle, and solar eruption and many more. As for you vanity lovers out there, there's going to be over a dozen new vanity outfits, new hair and hat based vanity items, animal ear and tail vanity items, new vanity accessories, new dyes, two dozen new hairstyles, the last of the developer sets, more than 10 new pets, more than 10 new mounts, and a mine carp and digging mole carp. And along with that, many different vanity mine carts. And lastly, I couldn't go over everything, but I think the balance tweaks are also important to cover, such as the Moon Lord attack patterns have been slightly tweaked to be more consistent. Golem's attacks will be more aggressive to players in expert mode. Plantera's tentacle chompers now have health scaling in expert multiplayer. Expert Skeleton Prime now moves faster when spinning. Eater of Worlds now has more segments, even more so in expert mode. And the King Slime is now somewhat harder to abuse with ropes. I hope you now have a more clear understanding of what is to come for this next update of Terraria for consoles. If you enjoyed today's video, consider subscribing to the channel. Join our Discord in the description down below. I'll see you in another video. Peace out.